Echelon Circular Powered Stapler. Indications. The Echelon Circular Powered Stapler is used throughout the alimentary track for end-to-end, end-to-side, and side-to-side -side anastomoses. It is available in four sizes for proper matching to the diameter of the lumen. Preparing the device for use. Remove the device and battery from the package using sterile technique. To avoid damage, do not flip the device or battery into the sterile field. Install the battery pack by lining up the release tabs on the battery pack with the slots on the rear of the device. An audible click will be heard and the tissue compression scale backlight will be illuminated to indicate that the battery pack is fully installed. The device must be used within 12 hours of inserting the battery pack. Failure to use it within this time frame may cause the battery to be depleted. Steps for use. Open the device by turning the adjusting knob counterclockwise until the anvil shaft is fully exposed. Remove the anvil to expose the device trocar. Retract the device trocar by rotating the adjusting knob clockwise until a stop is reached. Check the device trocar to verify that it is fully retracted before proceeding. Insert the anvil into the lumen using either the open lumen purse string technique or the closed lumen stapling technique, ensuring that the tissue is located at the suture tying area. With the device trocar fully retracted, insert the device so it fits snugly against the distal transection site. Fully extend the device trocar and pierce the distal transection site with the trocar by rotating the adjusting knob counterclockwise. Continue to extend the trocar until the orange band is visible. Grasp the anvil grasping area and attach the anvil to the device trocar. Do not clamp across or grip the locking springs when attempting to attach the anvil. The anvil snaps into its fully seated position. The orange band on the trocar will be covered when the anvil is attached. If necessary, hold the adjusting knob to prevent the device trocar from retracting during laparoscopic anvil attachment. To close the device, turn the adjusting knob clockwise. During closure, keep the organ segments in proper orientation to prevent twisting of tissue and inspect to ensure extraneous tissue is excluded. Tissue thickness may vary, even within a single patient's GI tract. That is why Ethicon's circular staplers are designed to provide flexibility for use with different tissue thicknesses. As the tissue is being compressed, you will start to feel resistance in the adjusting knob. Continue to turn the adjusting knob slowly until appropriate tissue resistance is felt for a secure anastomosis. Rapid compression may not allow sufficient time for fluid egress from the tissue and generate resistance before the appropriate compression is achieved. Wait 15 seconds to allow for adequate tissue compression and adjust if needed to maintain appropriate tissue resistance. Once the device is fully closed and you are satisfied with the compression applied to the tissue, Check the tissue compression scale to confirm that the orange staple height indicator is within the green range. The device will form staples at the height matching the compression applied during closure. After initiating the firing sequence, do not manipulate the adjusting knob. Doing so may result in malformed staples, incomplete cut line, bleeding and leakage from the staple line and or difficulty removing the device. To fire the device, move the red safety back toward the handle. Activate the firing sequence by completely depressing the firing trigger. Keep the device still until the full firing sequence is complete, which will be indicated by an illuminated green check mark on the indicator window. It is not necessary to hold the trigger once the firing sequence has been initiated. If the firing mechanism becomes inoperative, the anvil may remain in the lumen and be reattached to a new Echelon circular powered stapler of the same diameter. The device can be used for one firing. If a green check mark is not illuminated at the end of the firing sequence, the knife may remain exposed and staples may not be fully formed. The device is designed to automatically stop after the firing sequence is completed. If the device fails to stop after 7 to 10 seconds, remove the battery and use caution when removing the device from the patient. To safely release the device from the newly formed anastomosis, Turn the adjusting knob counterclockwise for two complete revolutions. Ensure the tissue has been released by rotating the device 90 degrees in both directions, taking care to minimize movement of the distal tip. Remove the device by gently pulling it out while simultaneously rotating. 
If the device does not freely release from the anastomosis or withdraw easily after rotation, turn the adjusting knob counterclockwise one additional complete revolution, 360 degrees, and attempt removal again by rotating the device 90 degrees in both directions, taking care to minimize movement of the distal tip. Gently pull out the device while simultaneously rotating. Remove the anvil, washer, and donuts from within the circular knife. Ensure that donuts are complete and the white breakaway washer is completely transected into inner and outer concentric rings. Perform an inspection of the anastomosis by your own technique and execute any necessary interventions. Battery Pack Disposal the battery pack must be removed from the device prior to disposal. To remove the battery pack, squeeze the release tabs and pull the battery pack straight back. Do not disassemble the battery pack. Key Highlights 1. Adjust the device until the orange indicator is within the green range of the tissue compression scale and optimal tissue apposition is achieved. Wait 15 seconds to allow for adequate tissue compression and adjust if needed to maintain appropriate tissue resistance. 2. An illuminated green check mark indicates that the firing sequence is complete. If the device fails to stop after 7 to 10 seconds, remove the battery and use caution when removing the device. 3. To release the device from the anastomosis, turn the adjusting knob counterclockwise for two complete revolutions.